no edibles from I'm here. sorry, bootleg no, onion selling. Yeah, there's a big no problem in, uh, in Italy. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know this existed. Just they, they sell bootleg onions. Yeah, people just die radishes over there. There's pain in life. And no one has really noticed this. It's a, it's a big problem. I mean, onion is a very intricate piece of Italian cuisine. And the holy trinity is peppers, onions, and garlic. Yeah, not peppers, radishes, and garlic. It's a bad thing. I didn't even know you could get radishes so prevalently. It's prevalent. I don't even know if prevalently is a word. onions. I might have just... I suppose so, and onions are pretty damn cheap. Yeah, you gotta save money. Yeah, I mean, ra I mean, an onion is about like 38 cents in Italy with uh, conversion. A radish is like a, a radish is 33 cents. Absolutely fascinating. Six cents there. Anyway, here we go. Espinosa in the in the turquoise. Pistolani in the darker shade of blue. Espinosa comes with us from the human cockfighting league. Two and two, batting 500 in, in mixed martial arts career. Mario Pistolani only had one fight so far here in Kubite. Unfortunately, he fell short in that fight. And of course, with the opening round fight, he lost to Yaroslav Chornaya via submission. And he wants to erase that zero from his win column. But Luis Espinosa has come over to Kubite to start anew. Oh, big uppercut from the southpaw. He reached right into the back seat for those punches. As opposed to the last time he reached into the back seat and he accidentally shot someone in the oh, face. Oh man. And Espinosa. Good combinations. Ending everything with a leg kick. Just deadening the lead leg of Mario Pistolani. And that's going to hurt to just move forward to put any sort of weight down there. Nice. Ending with a leg kick every single time. He's got great combinations. Pistolani with a good combination of his own. Backing down Espinosa. Espinosa, five years the younger to Pistolani. Oh, big knee from the clinch. And Espinosa has the wherewithal to escape from that. Looking for some short range strikes. I don't know. Kind of just went in haphazardly and ate a couple punches on the attempt to go in for the clinch, but. Espinosa is very much a counterfighter. It's interesting. He's much rather dodge the uh, the oncoming onslaught and then wait for the open. I have noticed that. He's kind of a, a, a boxing of a strategy to him. Bit of a dangerous. Uh, strategy is that you absorb so many strikes waiting for that perfect one you can't let perfect be the enemy of good at this point and oh it absorbs again nice body kick but again just keeps eating punches and I don't know what sort of competition he's faced oh oh, oh just Ooh. like that all he needed to do was get the clinch and he drops pistol oh Lanny. man with a laser guided knee to the face! How was that not it? And look how calm Luis Espinosa is! Well, the strategy seems to be working so well. Oh! Oh, just a short left cross and he drops him. Oh, big right hand again! Oh, Ooh. left hand, excuse me! Look what Down goes Pistol Knees to the face! It's gotta be over! Yeah. Jesus Christ! That is an absolute bloodbath of an onslaught wow. from Luis Espinosa. And you can see him celebrating with his trainer, CJ. <laughs> what, an, what an impressive debut yet again. This time by Luis Espinosa. And how deadly are his knees? I'm kidding. Wow, just wrecked him. He's gonna need a he's gonna need a carry and conceal permit with the two knees that he possesses. Goodness. The winner! And Luis Espinosa, an impressive debut here in Kumite. What a fight and good sign of respect shown by Mario Pistolani. Knows he was beaten in this yeah, one. He's